What's up, YouTube? This is my video on assembly and disassembly of the Ruger 1022. I know that this will be a pretty good video for you guys because this is uh gotta be one of the best 22s out there for the money. Okay, so let's get down and dirty with this thing. So first off, there is this little clasp right here that keeps the barrel to the stock of the gun. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and screw this out. And uh, you can just pull that right off. And now the barrel is loose. Now at the bottom of the stock, there is a flathead screw right there. I'm gonna go ahead and screw that out too. Now be careful because of the barrel and the receiver of the gun and the action is just gonna come right out so keep your hand under it. There we go. You don't need to take out that screw. You can though. Okay now the gun, as you can see, should just pop right out. It might take a little bit of coaxing, but uh, take the safety, put the safety on, and that's kind of what gets the sucker right out. So here is the trigger mechanism, and what you're going to do is there are two little pins right there and right there that you're gonna have to push out. I'm using an Allen wrench, but you can use whatever that fits these holes. So you just pop those out. There you are. Other side here. Push that sucker out. There you are. <clears throat> and now, the mag should come out with the uh, trigger mechanism there. Okay. There is a pin right here that I've already taken out. But uh, if you want to pop that baby out, you can then open your action to the point where uh, it just stays open there. The slide, I just took it out. And all you have to do is, there's a little piece right here. A little metallic piece. And, uh, that is under the slide. And you have to, once you back this up to the point where this bar can't stop it, once you pop that bar out, all you have to do is lift up the slide a little bit, and this little metal piece will pop right out from under it. And all you have to do is push on this little spring here, and uh, that just pops right out. And that's that. And then your slide's off, and you can get all in there. And another thing for you guys while you're taking apart your gun is the slide here. Uh, the spring pin right there if you really want to get into your gun here you can pop this piece out you pull it uh, whichever way it's facing I'm pulling it left so you you pull it and it should pop right out and a spring comes out right there and then you can clean all up in there and take this uh, spring out and everything Okay guys, you want to be very careful when putting this little pin back into the slot here. You want to be very careful. I've already launched this sucker three times across the room. I had to go find it. So this is a spring in here, loaded spring. I've had this whole thing shoot out. So you want to be very careful putting that, this back in. You want to put it in until you get to about right that much and then you want to push it over and it should lock into place you want to keep your hand over it or you could even do it against a wall or something 
you just don't want the you don't want to lose this thing in a crack or something then you have to get a new one this is a key component to your gun okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your flathead here when you have the slide in you're gonna put the spring under it and you're gonna latch it onto this little lip right here in the corner and uh, you're gonna take this is my way of doing it, but I'm going to take a flathead and I'm going to depress the uh, slide mechanism the whole way to under the slide. And there's a little catch right there. So let's go ahead and try it. So that's the finished product right there, YouTube. That's all there is to it. Okay, now remember these little pins here. Uh, what we're gonna do with these are, we're gonna align the trigger guard in here. You can just pop it right back in, it's not that hard. And uh, align it so that these will just pop right in like that. I'll take the other one right here. And uh, that's putting in the uh, trigger mechanism. Yeah. And now what you're going to do is slide the barrel and the receiver and the trigger mechanism, all that, the gun, just straight into the stock here. And the rest should just be self-explanatory. You just uh, take the brackets that you had and you slide it right over top of the barrel and you just tighten it on there then the screw down there you just tighten it right into the barrel and pop your clip in and you're ready to go